All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation, and the problem states a vertical curve connects tangents of grade one of two percent and grade two of a minus six percent that intersect at a station of fifty-eight point or fifty-eight plus twenty-five point eight, having an elevation of one twenty-eight point six four, and the vertical curve is to be nine hundred feet long. What is the elevation at station fifty-nine plus zero zero? So I drew this out already. Um, you know this is a vertical curve. They're giving you the two grades. It's a positive 2% and then it's a negative 6%. And the point at which they intersect, point of vertical intersection, it has a station of 58 plus 25.8. And we also know that the total length is 900 feet. So that split in two is 450 on each side of this PVI. And with a vertical curve, the distance is measured horizontally. So um, we know the length, and we're given all this information. Uh, the equations that we're going to be pulling from are from the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. And Chapter 78 has a ton of information on vertical curves. But the first thing I'm going to do is write down which equation I'll be pulling from, which is equation 78.47 in the addition that I'm using. And that basically states that the elevation at any point x, and x is in stations, not in feet, is rx squared divided by 2. 2 is, er, sorry, r is the rate of gradient, which we'll get into a little later, plus g1 times x plus the elevation at PVC. So we know, the only thing we know here is G1. We don't know anything else. We need to solve for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is solve for what R is. And that comes from equation 78.46 in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. And that states that R is G2 minus G1 divided by L. And you plug this in, we have a minus 6 minus 2 divided by length. Length I'm going to leave in stations, 9 stations. You have to remember that. We're going to be working all in stations here. And that gives me minus 8 over 9, which is minus 0.889% per station. So we've got R now. And now we need to find for what the elevation at point PVC is. And intuitively you can pull this equation out, but you know that um, if we were to solve for the elevation of PVI, PVI we would use the elevation at PVC plus the grade one times the length, which is L over two to get to PVI. So if um, we just solve this for PVC, we can get the elevation of PVC is equal to the elevation of PVI minus G1 times L over 2. So let's plug this in. Um, that gives me 128.64 minus 2 times 9 over 2, which equals 119.64. That's the elevation at P, V, C. Sorry, not I. It's looking at the wrong thing. So that's elevation P, V, C. Okay, so now we got that. Uh, now we need to know what X is. And X is this horizontal distance. So, well, we know the length of this curve is 900 feet. So we need to find out what the station is at P, V, C and the station. Well, we don't need P, V, T, but we can solve for that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, 
We know the station of PVI is 5825.80. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 450 feet because that will take me to PVC. It's half the length. And what does that give me? That gives me 5375.8 or 53 plus 75.80. So the next thing we're going to do is to, to get this x value, we need to know how far, how many stations we're, we're going. So I, I'm going to keep it in feet here to solve for that, but um, what we're solving for is what the elevation is at station 59 plus 00. zero. So if we take 5900 and subtract this, it should give us how far we are, how far x is from PVC. So that's 5375.80. That gives me 524.2 or 5.2425 stations. So now we know X. Uh, all we need to do now is plug in everything that we got. So we know R is negative 0 0.889 divided by 2. X is 5.2425 squared plus G1. G1 is 2. And you leave that as a percentage. Same thing we did with uh, R, G1, G2, we left those as percentages. So we're working with percentages and stations. So that's 2 times x, which is the 5.2425, plus the elevation at PVC, which we saw for down here. PVC is 119.64. And what does that give me? Plug all that in. Gives me an answer of 117.91, which is our answer. That is answer A. And I guess you could check to see if that makes sense. If your grade is going up and then it's going down, you know the stationing is past PVI at 59 plus 00. zero. So you know the elevation has to be less than what is given. It's given at 128.64 so it makes sense that it's less than that. So I hope that helps. Um, I have a question for the audience. What if the station at PVI was 58.26.90? And if you can solve this same problem with this stationing and leave that as a comment, that would be awesome. We'll see what kind of answers we get and we can check that. But I hope this helps you as you study. Please check out civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks about the civil engineering exam for the PE. Thanks, Pete.